It was really important to us and the library board not to raise the rate. We wanted to keep it at a renewal. I'm your Jackson neighborhood reporter, Daria Sudris. Voters in Jackson County will decide this November whether to continue funding the Jackson District Library at its present level. The current millage provides about 90% of the library's operating costs. With 13 branches around the county, the library serves as more than just a place to borrow a book. For neighbors like Julie Samples, it's a technology lifeline. I'm like in the Stone Age. I don't have no internet. This is the only place I can get internet. Internet is a big service that we provide. Um, that's something a lot of people rely on. They can't afford their own access. That service also includes checking out hotspots. Johnny McGuire says he'll be voting for the millage. Well, I like the library, the other things it has to offer. The community needs that. But in a time of rising costs, Jackson neighbor Kim Randolph says she can feel overwhelmed. You know, people who own houses are just getting squeezed. According to the library, its millage costs an average Jackson County homeowner about $113 per year. Concord neighbor Amy Hawkins plans to vote no. She says voters need to look at the bigger picture. You have to judge it in context with everything else on the plate. Hawkins says with more millages on the ballot this year and in the near future, it all adds up. There is only one checkbook, there is only one taxpayer, and that taxpayer has to decide if I'm going to pay millages over the next few years, where do I want my money to go? I'm your neighborhood reporter, Daria Sudris, Fox 47 News in Jackson.